I've sent three separate expeditions into the Dark Temple. Not one has returned. I can't say for sure what's going on. But people who go in there, they don't come back. What makes you say that? Sounds I heard coming out of that place would send a rancor running, if it was smart enough to run. You can survive the Dark Temple. I beg you to do me, and more importantly, the Empire a favor. The expeditions I sent in were looking for specific data. I can spare the manpower. They were slaves, mostly. But the data is essential. What kind of data was it? We were studying a recent increase in seismic activity in the area, including possible damage to the temple itself. The slaves from the expeditions were equipped with data pads to store the data they collected. Bring back those data pads. This information's vital to future construction on Drome and Kars. It's not glamorous, but... Will you help? I can absolutely do that. Amazing. Fantastic. Your help is invaluable. I'll mark the location the expedition last signaled from on your map. It's the best I can do. At last, the Dark Council has answered my petitions and sent a fine young Sith to help secure the temple. I'm not here to secure the temple. Of course, I've been ignored again. How stupid of me. If you're here, however, you must have the authority to enter the Dark Temple. You could still save this planet. You have my complete undivided attention. The Dark Temple is ancient, built during a previous incarnation of our Empire. A thousand years ago, our own Emperor buried his enemies here. These enemies remain powerful, even in death, which is why the Temple was sealed. But now, something terrible has happened. Some idiot went and woke them up. With the Emperor's attention elsewhere, a group of ambitious but ignorant Sith thought to gain power by raiding the temple. They didn't find the relics they sought. Instead, they awoke an ancient Sith Lord, Lord Kallig, and their expedition plunged into madness. Are they still in there? The ones who still live, yes. Because Lord Kallig died by ambush, I believe he awakened unaware of his own death. And his expectations became reality. For those around him, his power overwhelmed all inside the temple. And even now the workers plot wars against each other, believing themselves Sith Lords, and drawing terrible power from Kellig himself. What do you want me to do? I care not about the fighting itself, only what it may cause. There are still more ancient Sith Lords whose spirits lay dormant in the temple. If the ancient Sith Lords are woken by the violence within, they could overrun Dromund Kars. Let's keep them napping. I have studied all of the burial chambers within. Each was made with the same ancient design, one we can exploit. If you fuse the 500 kilogram hinges on each tomb door, even a violent assault should not be able to wake the ancients. What exactly does this entail? The team I sent in earlier was using a massive metal torch. Effective, but slow, I'm afraid. They did not make it far. The torch must be recovered, and the doors of the ancients sealed. Who dare approach the great Nil Venerous, Lord of the Sith, Master of the Undying Darkness? Answer me. What insolence brings you to this place, slave? I was out of line, and I apologize. Then watch how you approach. Nil Venerus is Lord of Domains, Master of Dominions. You are nothing in his sight. Now tell me, weakling, who has sent you here, and why? The Master of Data Collection Expedition sent me. Data? Data. Perhaps I can help you gather this data. My followers do much research in these catacombs. But the help of the great Lord Venerus comes at a price. I'll do whatever you ask, my lord. Listen well. I may part with my followers' research, but you must do something for me in exchange. Neil Venerus's enemies are many, and they have stolen my symbols of power. I want you to venture deep into enemy territory and bring the symbols back to me. Consider it done. Now go. You will have your data when you return with the symbols of my power. My network of spies reports that you crushed my enemies underfoot and found the symbols of power I requested. It's right here. Have it. I, too, have been very busy. Here is the data my servants collected before the temple transformed them. 
Let the Empire make of it what they will. I am most grateful. You're welcome. Oh, and um, there's one last itty-bitty little thing you can do. You see, power is useless without subjects. So I'd be grateful when you turn in the data, you'd encourage the Imperials to send more expeditions my way. You're really every bit as conniving as the real thing, you know that? Yes. I do think I've finally found my true calling. I can assure you, my gratitude, if you send more slaves to be my followers, will not be insubstantial. A stranger, my internal chronometer tells me it has been exactly 963 years since this hologram was made. Have the Sith truly lived in fear of me for so long? Who are you? I am, or was, Kenneth Ur, a born Sith and follower of the Force. Like so many before me, I challenged the Emperor and was buried in this temple. Fortunately, I had just enough time to make this, an interactive image that would transmit my secrets to whomever was bold enough to find my tomb and unlock it. I unlocked your tomb, so start transmitting. Patience, and everything will become clear. The way of the Sith lies in channeling the Force through the use of powerful emotions. Fear is the chief of these. The Sith feed on palpable dread. I am a master of Sith philosophy, and you presume to teach me. It's a lie. Fear is a lie. Passion, a lie. Fear gives temporary power, and passion is easily manipulated. Real strength in the Force comes when one is no longer afraid. And one can purge fear when one stops grasping. After power, after things, after life itself, and allows the Force to guide him. There is only the Force. What do you mean? There's only the Force? Just that. Everything there is, life and death alike, is wrapped up in the Force. What I learned only lives on through this image and its device. Yet I am one with the Force, eternal and at peace. Take them. Take my teachings to the Sith. They will find power there, but a different kind. Not of darkness, but light. The world must know what you've learned. Good. The Sith should know fear is not the only way. As for me, my message is concluded. I will now depart. Sir, and hear me. You mustn't kneel. I would gain no satisfaction from it. So, you finally found our hidden temple. It's long since time. The followers of the Dark Path battle my forces, and your cruelty is needed. I live to serve. Good. Then we shall begin. I am the Dark Lord Farshall. I oversaw this temple's construction, and I have ruled the jungle ever since. Now you will serve me. You look more like a workman than a Sith. My robes and helm were won in battle against Lord Vacuous. My lightsaber burns with the light of a star, and you dare question me. Now do as I require, and the riches of the temple will be yours. The teachings of the Dark Path lured my apprentice and Yara away, but I will have her back. You will retrieve her from the temple depths. I don't understand. What's the Dark Path? How can you not know? The other Dark Lords founded the path to lure away my students. I do not know how my rivals reached my apprentice, but I know where she went. The Dark Path hides near here. Kill the followers of the Dark Path. Fight your way to their altar, and Inyara must confront you. Do this, or be punished by my power. Yes, Lord Farshall. The followers of the Dark Path are not far. Go, and I will await you. Back! I, I don't know you! You aren't of the Dark Path! She whispers to me tells me to go back to Lord Farshall, the, that I belong to Farshall, but it's wrong. Something's wrong. You must be Lord Farshall's apprentice. He sent me to find you. Yes. No. No. I was someone else. Before I came to the temple, I, I, I was powerful. I was Sith. But she keeps saying I'm an apprentice. Just an apprentice. And I hate her. But my hate isn't making me strong enough. Remember the Sith code. Focus on the words. Yes. Through passion, I gain strength. Through victory, my chains are broken. The Force shall free me. She says she's Anyara. She says we serve Farshal. She says there's no city out there, just jungle. <laughs>